Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today on the Seftus Babakama Daf Kuf Aleph. We are going to begin on the very top of Kuf Aleph on the Aleph top line. Tarabam. Hanaisen Eitzim Lacharash. A person similar to the third case of our Mishnah gave wood to a carpenter. Lasus Ben Kise. And the purpose was for him to make a chair. So the Osimahem Safsol. And he instead of making a chair, he makes a bench. So it's similar to our Mishnah where he, you gave him wool and he was supposed to dye it red, became black, black, red. So <clears throat> you have to give him the Demei Eitzav because you're kind of Bishinui. Again, very similar to our Mishnah that you should, it's almost like a Kanas, if you will, again. And therefore, uh, all you need to do is re- reimburse for the lesser of the amounts. Umadu <clears throat> Ramer. Now, Ramer, who did say that typically you are coin of this, and therefore all you need to do is give back um, the value of the wood. So let's say he gave him wood to the carpenter. To make a chair. A kise no. However, the chair was not of the greatest quality. Or. Sasl no Vyasa Sasl Kaur that he should make a nice chair, a be- nice bench, made not a nice bench. So Imashak yes, well you see a nice you see a see a BMC Shvach, nice little uh Deme Hashvach. So this is like our second case of the mission we saw in yesterday's Dav, in which we're talking about a situation where you gave su su kaur, which is like leftover dye. So you did use this the dye as you're instructed, but it wasn't Good dye. It was not nice dye. So therefore, it's the same thing as over here uh, by using this type of um, uh, making a, not a nice bench, but you still made a bench. So therefore, in that situation, the person only has to pay whatever is less, either the improvement between the two or what or the expenditures, uh, whatever is less. Iboilhu yeshvach simonim al hatzemer o enshvach simonim al hatzemer. Is the dye a separate entity, uh, or is it like it's considered like in the wool itself? That's basically what the question uh, is. Uh, whether or not we are going to say that there it says Rashi chazusa milsahi o milsa. Basically, the fact that it's, you can see it is it considered like a separate thing, uh, or is it separate, or is it the same? So hechidam ilam the gazel simanim. Let's see he's stole the these uh, dyes Vidakinhu and he grinded it up Uturinhu and he soaked it but Savamhen and then he used it as a dye. So again he had this simonim in which you have to process it to make the dye. So he did all these things. So typically Misham Dikinyanabishinoi. So certainly in this case the Ganav he did all these different things. That's a Shinoi. So certainly he should be kind it, <clears throat> and he should give back the deme simanim. <clears throat> so that seems to be a, a, a double portion. Um, fine. <clears throat> so <clears throat> So he stole. Uh, these samanim, which were already which were soaked, and then he died with it. In other words, there was no shinoi in the dye; it was in the jar, and now it's in the garment. So that's the only difference. So my yeshvach samanim al gabit samer. Do we say that there's improvements by this into the wool? Yermele havli simanoi. Give me back my simani dishak dishak tinu that you took. I don't have it, right? So even though you can see it, right? So it's rational. Even though you want to say seeing it doesn't mean anything, give me that which I I lost. So Armory said, so Armory said, I don't understand, even if you would say that it doesn't, we don't say there's shvach simonim on the tzemer. He can't say nothing. So we saw in Rashi, you should at least give me that which I lost. 
El Hakisa, according to the reasoning that in Shlach Simonim Agami Yatzemer, that they, there's no Shlach Simonim on the Tzemer, Rabbi Shlumile, is it therefore that you do, therefore I need to pay? It's in front of you, go and take it. In other words, your die is in my garment, go and take it. Shaklinu, but my shakwe. How can you take it out? You can only take it with suffering, with some detergent to remove it. So soften a very mavr, it's gonna remove it from the wool, but shovel avid of it. You can't get it back. It's gotta be completely destroyed. So what do you mean oh, remove it from, remove your dye from my from the wool? What are you talking about? The dye, even if you would remove it with a detergent, it doesn't go back to its original status. It's it's come ruined. We're talking about a situation where he stole the wool and this dye, if you will, of one. And he dyed the wool with these simonim. And now he wants to return uh, the wool now that it's dyed. So, do we say, again, and he stole both of them from the same guy. So the fact is, he stole wool. He stole the samanim. Now the samanim are inside the tzemer, but it's considered to be like a separate entity on some level. So he's actually returning both. The wool he returns samanim al He still must pay for the dye. That's what the question is. So Amri typically I understand which is ask or answer the aikule nihilu that he caused by having the dye inside the wool, that it's increased its value. So obviously he's giving back more than just the wool. What happens if by doing this, it actually caused the wool to decrease in value? So in that situation, you are you can't say, oh, I'm giving back not just the wool, but also the dye, because the dye obviously didn't, it, in this case, it didn't increase the value of it, it decreased it. That um, it was it was dyed with a a monkey or koifa could be a willow. Says Rashi, Gozel koif, a monkey stole it for simanim, but a koif, and so the the monkey dyed it. Umachzirulo, and he's returned to leyakirle. It could be a willow. Okay. Ravina and They actually belong to two separate people. Because he kaif and a monkey comes, but and he comes and mixes it together. The monkey did it. Right? So Yeshvach Simonim al Gabit Semer. Do we say that? Give me back my my simonim. Okay, because it belongs to someone else. Oh, Dilma in Shlach Simonim on Gamit Tzemer. You can't say that. The Amrle, the Gaboy Kolm have nothing. So Tashma, begs just Sava beKlipi Arla. If you have a garment that is dyed with Klipi Arla, says Rashi Klipi and Goizim or Sharperos like fruit juices and the like, Yedalik. So that garment must be burned. All right. So what do we see? Alma Chazusa Milsehi. We see with Gabi Arla that the fact that it's seen it's still considered to be there and therefore for that reason we see the din is you have to burn it so therefore we should say the same thing that the tzimanim that are in the tzemer is considered like it's there and you can't say oh it's leis loch gaboy kum when we're dealing with a hana which is visible to the eye um, even if it doesn't have any substance so we say that it's still going to be usher. Why? The sanya. You can't eat arla. You can't even get hana. And it says clearly you can't die with it. And there are like candles. So all these different things. So there's an exception when it comes to arla that we say that the din is, has to be burned, even though it's absorbed into it, the dye. However, maybe when it comes to other things, not. Tashma begit should sava beklipi shvius. Let's say use the klipi shvius, and Rashi explains that also also shchayer beperoseha. You can't 
do business with this. So the din is that uh, this is brought down also in the Sakta Sukkah that when it comes to wood, also like for example a lulav, there's no din shvius uh, on it, only by the esrog, but not by the lulav, because stam eats a mahasaka nitnu and it's burned, and therefore it's we're going to see it's only when the burning in the hana, the destruction in the hana happens at the same time, which is like eating something by you, you're getting hana and you're destroying that food. That's what's chal uh, kedusha shvius, but not wood. So anyway, so what happened over here? Begit should sabu be klipi shvius yedolik. You have to burn it again. Shani hostem neimer kara tiyena mabiyasa tehei. So we see this is actually going to be TB thirty. Be eu isurim lo me boil and ye shvach simonim al tzemer v'asurin af bahana shel tseva. So who? Where do we find this? The answer is by kilayim and by arua. So those are the two. Uh, exceptions. Shani Hasam when it comes to Shvius and also when it comes to the din of of uh, of Arla, the din is that um Shani Hasam the Yamakrad because there's Psukim and over here by Shvius it says Tiana Babyasta Tehe. So therefore uh it doesn't make any difference. Uh the din remains that this thing is considered to be uh Shvius. Uh it has a din of Isr Shvius and therefore because of that you're not allowed to you're not allowed to use it, even though it's a dye, we, and maybe it's already like absorbed. It, so we say it's different. Okay. Um, says the Gemara, Rava, on, we're now on Umid Beis, Rava Rami, he has a contradiction. Tanan, Begich, it's Saba, Beklipi, Arli, Adali. We have this dye which was inside the a garment, it has to be destroyed. Alma Chazusa Milsahi. Obviously, even the fact that you see it, it still means something. Remain who so his question is Ravias Dam. Shinivla Bibias. Let's say you have a Ravias Dam, which we know Ravias Dam Rashi says is even is Matami Baoihil, because the Pasik says, I'll call Nafshois Mesl Yavoi, and therefore it's saying that when it comes to Ravias Dam, that in itself can make somewhat is is a din of Thomas oil. So it says Habayas Tame. In this situation, the house is Tame. The Yamla Habayas Tar. Some say that a house, a, a Ravias Dam, which absorbed into the house, is Tahar. Little Pligi. Habe Kalim de Havimi Kara. We're just talking about Kalim, which uh, is from before. Habe Kalim de Asul Basaif. Or a Kalim, which it came at the end. So let's go slow. Look at Rashi. Nivla Bekarka Habal Bias Habias Tame. Kalim Shiba Bias de Bias Lomakabotoma. Karkahi. So when it comes to the kalim of the house, uh, will become tame. However, the house itself is not going to become tame because it's karka, and karka can't become tame. Um, fine. Now we said bekalim to have bebayis kaidim shnivla. When it comes to the kalim that were there before the blood absorbed shahaisa ben, it was there while the blood was still around. So therefore, that those kalim will be tummy. So if they were there from before, then they're tummy. Kalim the asl b'saif says Rashi will acher nivla after the blood absorbed. So it's going to be tahar because the blood wasn't around by the time that they came. Okay, nivla b'ksus. Let's say it got absorbed into clothing, and this is the key. Royan we that we look at imis kabetzes haksus. If let's say you can launder. This garment, the Yitzim men Ravias Dam Tamea, and Ravias Dam can come out of it. It's Tame, the Imlav Tahira, but if not, it is Tahar. So, what's the problem with that? So says Rashi, Avul Vksus Tame Shetchilas Negiya Ravias Masumsum Nitma. If you have a garment which is Tame, um, it's Matama Ravias. But the tiny me is we learn the Imlav Tahar, and if not, if there isn't Ravias Dam in there, it's Tahar. Avagab the chazus the revius ika. Although the color of the dam is there, it's still tahar, right? Shahadam shenisher bebeged i eshel soichato. You can't squeeze it out. Nirolana bebeged al machazus al milsahi. So we see clearly that even though you can see a garment filled with blood, it's possible that it can be tahar. 
So he, apparently we see Chazus is La Milsa. So it says the Gemara, Amar Rav Kahana, Mikuli Revi'ay Shanu Khan Bedam Tvusa Durabanan. When it comes to the dinim of Revi'ay of Dam, so it's a whole, it's a din Durabanan. And therefore it's possible that when it comes to clothing, we could say it's Tahar. However, Dam Tvusa says Rashi, Harug Shiyaitzim Mimin Revi'ay Dam. Let's say someone has blood spilled and then Ubamaisa he died. So that's what's called Dam Tvusa. So we don't know the status of that blood. That's Durabanan. So anyway, the point is that we cannot necessarily look at this and say, oh, it's a stira, because it's different when we're dealing with the dinim of Tuma and the din of Dam uh, of Arivias. Let's look at question 12, and I think we're going to stop there. Um, we'll stop there. Um, fine. Okay. So let's see question 12. Dam haboyloa bebeged. Dam, which is absorbed in a garment, him metamis oil. Well, that... Oh, actually, let's start with question 11. Nehem hanafkimina. What's the ladin? What's the difference? But did he the Indian im yeshvach simonim al gabit semer o ein shvach. So, so it says, let's say you stole wool and you also stole simonim, which were uh, soaked, um, and it was dyed. Vuhuzal uh, tseva, and the dye goes down in value. Or let's say a monkey stole it. Okay, so im yeshvach simonim al semer. If we say that they're like separate entities. You can basically say, okay, it's a separate entity. Go take your die back. Or it's seven to the seven the achad. That the wool and the die belong to two different people. But seva kaifat semer. And a monkey died it. But seva imish shvach simonim al gamit semer. If let's say they're separate, matzi tava bal simonim bal semer de made savoy. So you can say, I want my die back. Okay, question 12. Dam habulua bebeged ima tamis boil. So he says like this: imis kabeses. If you would wash this garment, the yotzim would revias dam, and the dam would revias would come out. Then it's tummy. But if not, but dam diraisa. This is why it's important to understand this. If we're dealing with dam diraisa, tolly menidain de chazusa milsa. It's tolly on whether or not chazusa means anything. However, dam durabanan tahira. So since we were talking about a case of Dam Durabanan, because we're Mesubic, whether or not this Dam came out, Bechayev or not Bechayev, so therefore because of that, we're lenient, and therefore if it's not a Revius Dam, we just say it's Tahar. Okay. TA29. Iboyuhu. Yeshvach Simonim Agamit Semer. Be'ezo Oifen Ari Maskana. So let's see what he writes over here. Shegozl Semer Vesimonim Mechad. You stole from the same person. But Salvi and you dyed it. Shat Samer but Simonim. Him Mikayim Hashava ala Simonim. So the question is, if you would um, steal it, and then you end up returning again the Simonim, right? You, re- you re- return the, the Tzemer, right? So therefore, in that situation, the question is, is that considered to be like? Uh, that you returned it, and therefore, because of that, you don't have to return the die. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll see uh, tomorrow's daf. It's basically almost like the sukkah. Okay, let's see Rabbi Gibber. Three answers. You stole both from him. That was the wool and the die. And you dyed them when you give back the wool. Is it separate? It is like the dye also is returned, um, and it lessened the it's a lower price. You dyed the the fur, the hair of a monkey, where it doesn't get better. Okay, that's what it's referring to. Um, one has dyed the other. One has dyed the other has wool. A monkey goes and dyes the wool. Can the owner of the die request payment for his loss? Okay. And above this was Hanoisin, Eitzim Lacharash, 
Ulasas mem kis, if you have some maho, that's a machokis. However, nice and eats in macharish, lasso some kisi yafe, does some kisi kaor, everyone holds yadu al tahtaina. Beza bez the var, mamrina, the vadi, the chazusa milsihi, arla, and shvias. Im chazusa milsa, if it actually means something, you can see it. Loma matsino, gabi remias dam. Why do we see by remias dam that absorbed into a beged? The im eno yaitsum meno ali de kibus. The Habai is Tahar. How is it going to be Tahar? It should mean something. The whole house should be Tame. So here we're speaking of a Durabanan, where we don't know if the Dom was on his clothes after he died or he was still alive. Uh, so we go Mako. Adkan.